Hey Scorpios, howdy! Welcome to your monthly reading. It's going to be for November 2020 and today we're taking a look at a connection that you're dealing with. So keep in mind this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your individual signs. But if it does, feel free to give it a like, subscribe and comment. I would greatly appreciate it because that really helps the channel to grow. And uh, since we're talking about love, the, the rules could totally be reversed, okay? So always take what resonates believe what doesn't and let's see what we have just one more all right mm-hmm kind of feel like this is an X I'm getting X vibes to be honest with this facade and release I feel like something uh, you have facade release let's actually get here uh, let go of control issues and Pay attention to the red flags and this let go of control issues. I'm actually seeing more, you know, release kind of way of let go, let go. This is not healthy, to be honest. And especially having the joy card, bottom of the deck, you need to go somewhere else. You need to take a leap of faith. I feel like you do want out of this situation. This could actually be a relationship that you're currently and things are not very, in a very nice way. Or I do feel like it's an ex coming back and really trying to make you go back into a relationship with them. And you're thinking for about it in a minute, but I don't think that you want this. But you feel tempted. I do feel like you feel tempted because um, I'm getting that you sort of go back to the past, to how things were, and you start remembering all the good times that you had together, all the good things. Man, ah, no. Because to be honest, I don't feel like this person's intentions are good. Or they could actually be, but I feel like underneath, it's not. Because I do feel like they may have a little bit of codependency or some addictions going on and fear of rejection, fear of, of uh, abandonment issues, you know, and you're an easy thing, you know, it's, they don't have to go back into the game, they don't have to go dating again and trying, trying to meet someone new, someone new. you're easy. They already know you, so you, they already know what to expect. They already know your weak points, how to make you feel tempted, right? So to be honest, let it go, okay? I do feel like you, you deserve something way better than this. I do feel like you, you need to take a leap of faith here, okay? So let me see, Seven of Pentacles, all right, for the overall energy. And I do feel like you were starting to be in a very good place where you were starting to open yourself up again to love. You were starting to believe again in love, that love is possible. And once you do that, it's like this person comes back running like, oh, hey, 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 no, don't, don't move on just now. Just keep, keep here, keep being here, you know, keep, keep thinking about me. And I feel like you were done with it. But at the same time, is that reminiscing about the past about how things were about the feelings that you felt that sort of bring you back but I, f I do feel like you deserve something way better something that lets you be free i don't think that this person lets you be free to be honest i feel like they are very controlling they're a narcissistic partner i really feel like they are okay so let's see in the past we have the fool so there is that little joy energy going on where I feel like you just took a leap of faith, like, hey, no, I don't like this, I can't keep doing this anymore, I just have to go. And where did that lead you? To happiness, that is your current situation. I feel like you're really free, number one, and happy. You're happy with your life. I do feel like you started building your own home, possibly even physical home. I do feel like you started moving to um, living by yourself, you know, just getting your own place. Also, for some of you, I do feel like you spent some time like in your hometown with your parents and reborning. I feel like you needed that. And I feel like you did that. And because of that, you're in this sun energy, which is so beautiful. This is the happiest card of the tarot. And 
I feel like you did start connecting with that Sagittarius side more. Being more adventurous. Letting yourself be free. I keep hearing freedom. I feel like that's what you did. And this person coming back is trying to take that freedom away. Okay? For the month of November, High Priestess. Follow your goddamn intuition because nostalgia comes from the mind, right? You start thinking about those old, old good times and you don't listen to your intuition. You don't focus on the present moment. And you don't focus on the things that this person is showing you. Are their actions, like their words are really, really pretty and everything, but their actions, are they honest? And I feel like you can see that crystal clear. I feel like these red flags, you can see them crystal clear. So follow that intuition. Okay? Because I feel like you'll get all the answers that you need. And you'll feel more comfortable in releasing this person. Comfortable is not the word, but secure. And like, yeah, I feel like you'll believe and trust your decisions. Okay, so let me see on your side. You have this justice, king of pentacles, four of wands. Okay. I do feel like you're starting to get your balance, uh, your balance in life. I feel like you're starting to get a very good career, uh, especially having this King of Pentacles here. I do see you very focused on your career and again on building this home with yourself. This Four of Wands, I don't really see it has. Um, this usually talks about commitment and family and home and everything, but I feel like it's about you creating that with you, you creating that with your friends, right? You having fun with yourself. And with the people that you have around you, that are good for you, that are healthy, and not this person. And I do feel like you possibly started really thriving in your career and getting in a very good place. And this person noticed that. What they do? Go right back to you. It's like, oh, hey, you're so pretty. I miss you. I want your money. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Ace of Swords for this person. Hanged Man. Page of Cups. There is that apology. They're really trying to come back. And I feel like they're going to, to do everything that is possible here to get you back. Everything that is possible. I feel like they are thinking and making all these plans and seeing, like thinking, okay, what are their weak spots? How can I make Scorpio Sag come back to me? What do I need to, what is the button that I need to press to, to make them come back? I do feel like they want to try something new. I do feel like they are trying, but they are still in the very beginning. They are still planting the seeds with the Seven of Pentacles there. They are still not balanced. They're not balanced, they're not secure, they're not safe in a way, uh, financially. I feel like things are not going that well. And seeing with all that security, they want that. Don't. Okay, I really feel like you deserve better. I really do. And even if you don't meet the one in like 10 years, I feel like you still deserve being alone, to be honest, because the things that you're creating, and I don't think that it will take 10 years, uh, I feel like it's a matter of you releasing this person, and you may actually be surprised of how fast you may meet the one, um, but it's just enjoy the things that you have with yourself, enjoy these things that you're creating, enjoy your loneliness. Not loneliness, enjoy your alone time, because loneliness and being alone is very different. Enjoy being alone. I really feel like you deserve that because for the first time, I feel like, or for the first, first time in a very long time, you're allowing yourself to be yourself completely, to be who you really want to be. Okay, let me clarify some things here. I want to see the High Priestess. Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, there it is, the world. Whew. with the tower right here, bottom of the deck. 
more like finish line than this is impossible. The world in a tower. It's like two of cups, it's on the outside. All that love and all that union, oh, let's be happy together. Inside, seven of swords, all that deception and sabotage and lies, a lot of lies. And you start seeing that with your intuition, not with your eyes, not with your mind, with your intuition. And you're like, okay, screw you. I'm gonna create my own home. And that is such a powerful thing. And I love seeing three major arcanas here on the past, present, future. Because it's like you're really being guided and you're more than being guided, you're making a difference in your life. It's not just, oh, okay, let me do this. No, you're doing it with determination and you're doing something that is meant to happen in your life because it is part of who you are. It is part of your growth. It is part of your stability, of your progress, of your evolution as a person. Okay? Let me see this Ace of Swords. Guess what? Three of Cups. Yeah, Reconciliation. Hermit. Two of Swords. I feel like they are so confused about what to do with their life. They are so confused about things in general. I actually feel like quarantine affected them pretty damn hard. And now they're really like, oh shit, I have no idea what to do in my life. I have no idea what I'm feeling. I have no idea what is living, you know? And what is the safe way? What 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 did they remember that seemed like it was living? You. So they go right back to you in the hopes that you'll get them to feel again or to get some clarity again. Let me see the hanged man. Hierophant, very nice. Devil, okay. I was really like, I was really wondering, when is the devil going to show up? There we go. Three of Pentacles. <sighs> Again, they're thinking, how can I have this relationship back? It's all they think. Not because they love you, to be honest. Because they need you. It's a very codependent or dependent, because from your side, there is no dependency. So it's an addiction that they have to you because you're safe, you're easy, you're familiar. I do feel like they're going to try with all they have. And if you're not blocking them already, I don't think you would lose in blocking them, to be quite honest. But let's see some messages and advice. All right, that was quite quick. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yes, this is real. More confirmation than this is impossible. Let's see. Okay, so we have ask for help. If you feel like you're missing something, um, but you can't really know what it is, don't be afraid to ask uh, opinions, okay? Ask your friends, like, hey, this is happening. Do you really feel like I should do this or something like that? Hopefully, this will be the help that you need, okay? Believe that you're worth something way better. Look around, there's something you're not seeing. Be grateful. This person did teach you stuff. The times that you had... Possibly they were really fun, they were really loving. Be grateful that it happened, be grateful that it showed you love. If it wasn't, be grateful that it showed you that, hey, this is not my person. Be grateful that it taught you stuff about love, stuff about self-respect. But now, move, okay? Expect the unexpected, and I do feel like this is about that thing that I was talking about um, around the one, that you may actually meet them sooner than you think. I really believe that. Work that ass off. Situation is not what it seems. And this, by the way, 
I was getting very career vibes, but it also is about exercising. I do feel like you need to move your body a little bit, uh, and especially rest. Because I feel like you have been creating a very healthy and strong career and you've been putting a lot of work on yourself and stuff like that, don't forget to stop sometimes and go for a walk, you know? Especially if you're a lot of your time seated. Like, take a little break, breathe a little bit, go just to the window or to the kitchen, grab a snack, just something, just move, just get out of that chair and do something, okay? Because I really feel like you are starting to let your body burn out, okay? And trust your spirit guides in the universe, okay? I am not going to pull some messages from this person because I feel like that is not necessary. I feel like you deserve a little bit more than that. Um, but just keep being you, keep doing your own thing. And ignore this person, because no. Okay? No. So, Scorpio Saji, I hope this resonated. Hope it helps somehow and bring a little bit of clarity into this person's intentions. Hope you have an amazing birthday. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.